On the other side of darkness, there's light. So whatever you do in life, you will face adversity. On the other side of adversity will be success. We are playing a top club team and my adrenaline is high because we are down one zero. I get the ball and start dribbling. This girl comes behind me and completely demolishes my foot. I felt three pops in the snap immediately. Uh, how you do anything is how you do everything. So it can be a little thing, a big thing, whatever you do, make sure you do it with all your heart. Uh, to call myself a student athlete at USC is something in a million years I thought I would never say. Achieve anything that you want in life, you just have to stay consistent and hard work. Being stuck in my comfort zone was not helping me get anywhere and it was holding me back. Um, so I had to break out of that shell and make some changes in order to move forward and get closer to my ultimate goal. Since I've had four knee surgeries in the past two years, I've been rehabbing and I can promise you it's hard and life will continue to be hard. But the best thing about it is going through it. About perseverance. Perseverance is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. And one of the quotes I live by is when Kobe Bryant said, pain doesn't tell you when you ought to stop. Pain is the little voice in your head that tries to hold you back because it knows if you continue, you will change. Two big things that have helped me a lot in my life and gotten me to where I am today that I hope you can take away from today are confidence and consistency. Um, you know, I've had to overcome a lot of injuries. Uh, I've been cut from countless teams. But the reason I'm here today is because I had a lot of resiliency. You know, I had a lot of grit and determination and perseverance to pursue my goal and to achieve my goals, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. If you're persistent, then keep a positive attitude about your problems and really make sure that you're fixing these problems for your own bettering, then you never will have a problem, only a slight bump in the road. Okay, go ahead. If you guys want to be great one day, stay in the gym, stay active. You can achieve anything that you want in life. You just have to stay consistent and hard working. Once when I was in middle school, I took a lot of things for granted. But now that I'm college and on another level, I want to just tell you guys to focus, 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 and work hard as you can. Because anything you believe in is possible. If you want to be an influencer, writer, actor, doctor, you can do it. Just stay in school, stay focused, stay inspired, have, keep your mind peaceful. Uh, believe in yourself, believe in your faith, and you'll be great. Everything is possible. So. My name is Vavai Malipiai, and I'm a senior senior running back here at USC. And if it's anything I've learned throughout my time here, is that uh, how you do anything is how you do everything. So it can be a little thing, a big thing, whatever you do, make sure you do it with all your heart and uh, have a good attitude towards doing it. One of the biggest things, uh, life lessons I've learned here at USC is to control what you can control. My role here on the football team, for, for instance, has grown over the years. And it was a learning process for sure, but I've learned after every year that the more you focus on what you can control and not worried about the outside uh, sources, the better off you'll be and the better you'll be with the opportunities you're given. So uh, moving forward, just have a good attitude and compete whatever you do and remember however you do anything is how you do everything hi my name is Alyssa Peely I'm on the women's basketball team and I'm a junior not too long ago I came all the way from Anchorage Alaska to LA to begin my life as a USC Trojan during these past two years I've experienced a lot of growth as I started these chapters of my life and thought I could share some words of advice to those who are beginning a similar journey as I started my first year of being out on my own, I quickly realized that I needed to get rid of some old habits that I had and adjust to my new life. Being stuck in my comfort zone was not helping me get anywhere and it was holding me back. Um, so I had to break out of that shell and make some changes in order to move forward and get closer to my ultimate goal. Stepping out of your comfort zone is not an easy thing to do, but it will open a lot of opportunities for you if you let it. Um, in the real world, I've learned that communicating is really important and you're going to have to speak up for yourself in certain situations in order to um, elevate what you're going towards because if you don't speak up about anything, nothing will change. 
Um, you're going to face a lot of adversity, but your reaction to whatever situation is not going your way um, will determine whether you grow from that experience. Hello, my name is Hannah White, and I'm a rising junior at the University of Southern California and a forward on the women's soccer team. I will be talking about a moment that happened in my junior year of high school. Viewpoints. There are always multiple, but a lot of times we only allow ourselves to see one. I was in a time in my career when soccer was not bringing me the joy it used to, and I couldn't fully break down as to why. I had just committed to USC, my dream school. I was in the best shape of my life at that time. I was playing some of my best soccer. So we were playing a top club team, and my adrenaline is high because we are down 1-0. I get the ball and start dribbling. This girl comes behind me and completely demolishes my foot. I felt three pops and a snap immediately. The first thought in my mind was, my career's over. Three months later, post-surgery and wrapped up in a bright pink cast on my right foot, I'm sitting on the sideline watching my team play and I'm getting that itch. That itch of wanting to be out there and wanting to play and do the thing that I thought I lost love for, but I'm realizing I didn't as I am seeing it from a different viewpoint. During my injury, during injury, you see your sport from a different viewpoint. A view you've never really thought you needed until it's there. That other viewpoint, the viewpoint from the sideline, brought back that itch that was missing when I was viewing soccer on the field. On the other side of darkness, there's light. So whatever you do in life, you will face adversity. On the other side of adversity will be success. So whatever you guys want to do, push through it. I remember when I went to, had the dreams of being an NFL player, I never been the fastest, the strongest, the biggest guy coming out of high school, but I was fortunate enough to keep working and fighting adversity, working hard every day to get better. I ended up being a, a top ranked athlete coming out of high school, choosing USC to get a degree and further my football and my education. So continue to fight and strive for success and everything will pay off in the future. And pre being prepared and, and is, is the prompt. So promptness is the key to success. So prepare for any for the worst the best and, and you will fight adversity and come through with success hi my name is aaron caetano a student athlete at usc uh to call myself a student athlete at usc is something in a million years i thought i would never say um a little background about myself is that both of my parents immigrated here from the philippines and they came here with little to nothing in their pockets and they would tell me stories about them living in small apartments to often being homeless. And what they told me that through those rough times is that they believe in the phrase, I can do all things. Regardless if it was school, tennis, or academics, I can do all things, or they can do all things. And luckily, my dad got me into the sport of tennis. And even through the reps and practice and drills, he kept on telling me I can do all things. And no matter what position you're in, no matter what state you're in, mentally, physically, and emotionally, um, through the support of family and friends, just know that you can do all things. What is up? My name is Caden Steven, and I play football for USC. And today I wanna to talk about perseverance. Perseverance is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Now, I'm sure everyone here has had hard times they had to go through. And you got through them, right? You're here today. You had perseverance to get through those hard times. Now, everyone goes through this. For me personally, I had to overcome injuries, uh, leaving friends, leaving family, moving to a different state just to reach my goal of playing D1 football. And everyone's gonna have these hard times you have to go through and you have to, you're have you gonna have to get through it one way or another. And you're gonna have perseverance to overcome those hardships if you wanna reach your goals in life. And that's all I got for you. Bye now. Hi guys, uh, my name is Eric Kromenok and I guess the, the message I would have for you guys is to always believe in yourself. Uh, I remember one day um, after practice in high school, I was already committed to USC. felt like I was doing all the right things. My head coach came up to me 
And he said, you know, you're just, you're not playing good enough right now. And if you want to make it at a big time school like USC, you're really going to need to step your game up. You're going to need to start playing better. You shouldn't even go there if, if that's, this is how you're going to play. Um, and I remember being kind of taken off by that. But after that day, I kind of just, you know, stuck to myself and made sure nobody ever outworked me. I was always trying to be the hardest worker um, on the team, in the room, in the classroom. And so I'm sure a lot of you guys might have had a teacher or a coach, you know, say the same thing. You're not doing enough. You're not being a good enough student. You're not playing hard enough. You're not playing well enough. Um, and so I just encourage you guys, no matter what, to always try to be the hardest worker, whether that's on a team, in the classroom, at home, wherever that is. Um, believe in yourself. Be a hard worker. And uh, good things are going to turn out for you guys. So appreciate it. Today, I want to go head up with a topic we all know, dealing with pain. I started training when I was five years old. I was the smallest, the weakest, the slowest, the most uncoordinated, and the youngest. And I lost every rep of every drill my first time. After training, I told my dad, I don't want to train anymore. My dad looked me in my eyes. He told me, son, there's nothing wrong with losing. But if you're scared of losing and you stop, that's called quitting. And we don't do that. We never quit. We always finish where we start. A few years later, I started playing football and I couldn't even crack the starting lineup. I called my dad and I told him, he told me, never quit. A few years later, after that, I'm in high school and my mom gets locked up in prison. I tell him I don't wanna play football anymore. I look to my dad, he tells me, never quit. Fast forward, I'm one of the top linebackers in the nation and I break my foot. The game before the state championship. I'm crying and I look to my dad. He tells me, never quit. A few months ago, I'm at USC, one of the top colleges in the nation, and I broke my foot again and tore my knee. I look to my dad. This time, I look defeated, tired and sick. I asked my dad, what do I do? And he just looked at me. And before he could answer me, I answered for him, never quit. Hey everyone, my name is Brad Oki, and I'm a walk-on quarterback at the University of Southern California. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about resiliency. So, you know, I've had the easiest journey in sports. Um, you know, I've had to overcome a lot of injuries. Uh, I've been cut from countless teams. But the reason I'm here today is because I had a lot of resiliency, you know, I had a lot of grit and determination and perseverance to pursue my goal and to achieve my goals, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. I think that's one thing to remember. You know, a quote I like to live by is, you know, you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, who else is going to believe in you? So I think at the end of the day, if you're really, truly passionate about something, like for me, I was truly passionate about football. Um, if you're truly passionate about something like that, you need to give it 100% your all. And even in the face of adversity, you need to continue trying and continue picking yourself back up because that'll lead to a lot of great things in the long run. Hello, everyone. My name is Jonah Monheim. I play football at USC, and I'm going into my second year of being a student athlete. Two big things that have helped me a lot in my life and gotten me to where I am today that I hope you can take away from today are confidence and consistency. In terms of consistency, I think it is so important to be the same person every day and attack the day in the same way, no matter what's going on around you and no matter what the circumstances are. We've all gone through good and bad days, whether it's a bad practice or class doesn't go how you wanted, or you're dealing with relationship drama or family drama or something like that. There's always things going wrong in our life. I think it's really important to learn from these things and accept them for what they are and learn from them and get better and continue to attack the day in every way, no matter what the circumstances. You know, there's a lot of highs and lows in life, and I think it's really good to stay even and stay yourself at all times. And in terms of confidence, I think it's always important to believe in yourself and believe in your abilities. People always say life is more mental than it is physical, more mental than it is anything else. And I think that's really true. Our mentalities have a lot of power over us. And I think that being confident at all times will allow all of your abilities to shine through and be you. My name is Corbin Ford and I play football for USC. And one of the quotes I live by is when Kobe Bryant said, pain doesn't tell you when you ought to stop. Pain is the little voice in your head that tries to hold you back because it knows if you continue, you will change. Sophomore year in high school, I had surgery on both of my legs. And I didn't know if I would come back the same. Those were the voices of pain in my head from the setback that caused a lot of doubt and stress, but with prayer and consistent 
uh, consistent determination to work, I defeated all odds and the sky is the limit for me. My message to you all is no matter what you go through in life and or football, never give up and be resilient and defeat the voices in your head like Kobe said and change for the better. Good morning, everybody. Um, off bat, I want this to, to be the first thing you ever hear and the last thing you remember about me is that persistence and positive attitude are the two most crucial things that we can learn as fast as we can. Because in life, it's going to get tough. Problems will come your way. It's a natural thing that everybody goes through. Some may, may have it harder than others. Some may be less. But at the end of the day, no matter what problems come your way, if you're persistent and keep a positive attitude about your problems and really make sure that you're fixing these problems for your own bettering, then you never will have a problem, only a slight bump in the road. Thank you and have a great day. What's up, everybody? This is Jordan Yosefa, student athlete from the University of Southern California. I play football specifically, even more specific, linebacker. Uh, I've been blessed. I've been uh, honored to be able to be a part of this team for the past five years. Um, and anything you guys like to know, feel free to ask. But just to continue on uh, about me, I'm from Hawaii. Uh, I went to St. Louis High School, if any of you guys know what that is. And I was blessed to be able to uh, have a full ride scholarship to the University of Southern California. Uh, unfortunately, I've been going through my own trials and tribulations. I've had four knee surgeries in the past two years. I've been rehabbing and I can promise you it's hard and life will continue to be hard. But the best thing about it is going through it. Uh, make sure to just keep striving, keep pushing and keep being the best person every day. Mm -hmm.